Hey, welcome back to Evil's Comics. This guy right here is Evil Mike, or Mike if you got a problem with that. I didn't, it don't matter either way. Um, this is going to be my new comic book pickups from December 7, 2022, and I've heard people say it was a small week. I'll let you be the judge of that because I got my stack right here, and for this guy it was a massive week. Um, I did pick up a couple extra, I had a little extra money. Um, and I also picked up all the stuff that was in my box from last week. I'm going to get into that. But before we do, please like, comment, and subscribe. Even though it doesn't cost you anything, it helps this guy immensely. Bad comments, good comments, it don't matter. Constructive criticism, and that's how I take it. Um, so without further ado, the books from last week. This is DC Comics 2022 Batgirls Annual. Um, and I do apologize. I'm keeping most of these in the plastic. Um... It's just I have so many and I don't really want to go back and forth. 2022 DC Comics, um, Detective Comics, the annual. And it's hard to see on here. I'll take this one out real quick. But it's like a like old school looking Batman. This one and Bad Girls, I'm the two most excited about the annuals. And I usually like annuals, but uh, it, sometimes it's like if they don't pertain to the story... I lose excitedness, you know what I'm saying? If it's just like random, like, hey, here's your favorite character, and he went to the beach this episode, and it's not always, it's not always so great. Um, 2022 annual DC Comics Nightwing with, um, what's his name, Heartless on the cover. Um, this is a book that I already did pick up, but this is the second variant I had in my box. I don't know which variant it is, but I really enjoyed Plush. I love this team. So I was trying to get every cover I could, and I like the whole furry cannibal thing. It's kind of creepy and cool at the same time. Um, last but not least from last week, this is Marvel, The Exterminators, issue number three. The only X-Men title I've been sticking with so far, and so far it's been a pretty good read. I mean, it's, a, it's not a whole lot to it. It's just a fun read. Um, okay, so let's get into it. This is everything from December 7, 2022 from this week. Um, from DC Comics, we got Batman Nightwatch issue number four. I've mentioned this before. I'm getting real close to dropping this, and that's hard for me to do, especially if I have the money. But it's more along the lines of this is just more for younger readers. But I have seen some covers in the future that make it seem like it's going to get a little more adult in the future. So I'm sticking on for now. It hasn't been a bad read. It's just... I already pick up enough Batman titles as it is. I mean, you'll see right here. Um, but we got DC Comics Batman issue number 130. I went with the holiday issue from Laura Braga. I love Laura Braga. So you give me a holiday cover and she did the art to it. I'm grabbing it. I actually loved cover A. I know a lot of people that's going to be the cover they went with. But I'm not passing up a holiday. Um, Laura Braga. Um, next up, we got the Joker, the Man Who Stopped Laughing, issue number three, and I love this variant. I had like three different options on the variant cover on this one. I know there's the the Lee Bergamo cover was the more sought after the Christmas, um, but I, my shop did not have that one, so I went with a second best uh, DC one shot, but Dark Crisis, and I think this is yeah War Zone. Um, no variant covers or nothing. Just happy to have the tie-in. We're almost done with Dark Crisis. A book that I really wasn't going to pick up. I'm not a huge super fan of Miles. Um, and it has nothing to do with Miles. It's just I, I don't have a whole lot of experience outside of like media and games and stuff. I do like some other things like real facts about who he was modeled after and and stuff like that and that kind of got me back well it got me into miles to begin with but i've never really read so we got a brand new miles morales spider-man it dropped um and i'm with circum i wish they'd keep the just the number the same and start a new arc but uh, i'm not gonna pass up at number one i didn't have too many options on the cover so i went with this one the kissing cover and i thought it looked pretty dope i don't even know who the girl is but you know, yeah. This one, yes, please. Um, it actually wasn't there, and somebody put this back. I couldn't believe they put it back. But this is uh, from Marvel Comics Dark Web issue number one, the Peach Momoko. I know Peach is either loved or not liked. I love Peach. Um, I want to say not everything she does, but the majority. And on top of that, I like um, 
Madeline Pryor that we're getting this whole story about her and um, Ben Riley and the clones. You know, I thought that was pretty good. Um, a book that I've recently picked up, but it's tying into Daredevil. And the, the, the one book that I've read from it was really good, but that is Punisher. And I think this is issue number eight. No special variant or nothing. I, I don't care about the variant on this. I just, I'm not even a huge Punisher fan. I just like the mix of the story. Um, and they are doing some crazy things with Freighton Castle right now. Um, from DC Comics, this is Sword of Azrael, and this is issue number five. We got Father Valley on the cover. Um, this is a pretty dope cover. I had two different options, the cover A and this one, and I went with this one. I thought it looked pretty good. Of course, all of these variants I picked, hand-picked, but it's always what I have the option of getting. Um, DC Comics, Gotham City, year one, and I think this is issue three. Um, a really good read, but man, you talk about com trying to figure out where this is taking place, if it's on a certain earth, I, I have no idea. Um, one of my big books that was starred on my list for the week, but that is DC Comics, Batman and the Joker, the Deadly Duo, the Mark Silvestri, um, Batman and Joker comic. The first issue was phenomenal, the art, the story. Very excited to dig into that one. It's probably going to be one of my first reads. Um, from Dark Horse Comics, um, this is Night of the Ghoul, issue number three. Um, it is the last issue in the series, so I'm looking forward to that. I actually have not read the second issue. As soon as I found out it was only a three-issue series, I kind of waited, and I was like, oh, I'll just wait until I get the other two. Um, a big book for this guy, but Marvel Comics, Tiger Division, issue number two. And I had a lot of different options on the covers, and for some reason cover price or whatever it is was, was saying something special about this cover but as far as I know all these characters have already been introduced and uh, already have covers so I'm, I don't know but I still like the cover anyways um, a dope read so far but from Marvel Comics Predator issue number five um, I don't think I had any options on the covers it was just this cover and lately that's the only thing I can say that's kind of so-so on the series are just the cover options um, Marvel Comics, we got Fantastic Four, issue number two. This is cover the A, the Alex Ross cover, and I had one other option, and it was the Alex Ross, black and white, invisible woman, and she had this, like, total recall thing going on. You know what I'm talking about? Look at the cover, and you'll see it. Um, so I kind of passed that out. Um, Marvel Edge of the Spider-Verse, Spider-Man, issue number three. I don't know if that's going to, I mean, that's the arc that we're in right now. And this is a legacy number from the main, it's like Legacy 159. So I, I'm not sure if we're going to keep the end of the Spider-Verse thing or, or if that's going to change once we get done with this. But hey, it's been a good read so far. A book that I'm not reading yet because I'm missing, I think, the first four issues, but I am still picking it up since five six seven eight nine but that is ghost rider from marvel and this is issue number nine no different variant covers needed this cover was so dope by itself and supposedly i think that's the like a first appearance of the bad guy or something like that i don't care the book i was talking about recently but marvel comics daredevil issue number six and a fantastic read probably in marvel in my eyes right now it's probably, it's probably their best uh, series, but that is my opinion. But definitely, I, I've been excited in every issue for Daredevil. I know a lot of people were really confused in the beginning, which is kind of funny because I was lost in the Daredevil mythos, and as soon as I got into it, everything was self explanatory. It was pretty easy. Um, from Dynamite, we got issue number two of Vampirella and, uh, versus Red Sonia. I have not read the first issue, it's one of the ones that are sitting behind me. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed it anyways. I usually don't quit books, you know, after the first issue. It's usually for me like four or five, somewhere in there. Um, a big book for a lot of people. I know for me, um, I didn't have too many cheap option covers. They had ratios and virgin covers. They were a little more out of my price range. But that is from Dynamite Comics. We got Gargoyles. Issue number one, I went with the, um, the In Huck Lee, I think it is. The, I think so. I think it's that's, that's the DNA when you see the. I think so. 
I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's in Ugly. Um, they, they had this one and Trish Foster, and I love Trish Foster, especially ever since Stray Dogs. But it just, I, I don't know, it, it was kind of bland in my, my opinion. Dark Horse Comics, we got Shock Shop issue number four with the double covers. Um, honestly, I, I don't even look at the other covers. These covers on each one of them, uh, the story has been okay, but because it's just an anthology read, like Creep Show or something like that. But the covers on these have been phenomenal, and usually it's one that's that's really really good, and another one that's that's okay. Um, but I do like the the main. I mean, that's phenomenal. Um, I missed the first issue, but was able to pick up the LCD like support your comic shop edition. But that is Dark Horse Comics, Quick Stop issue number two. I had two variant covers, and I kind of. I kind of really dug this one, that, that day of the, you know, day, day of the Las Mortes, you know. The first read was really good. Um, a book I'm very excited about. Uh, the, the read was actually okay until the end of the book, and then it just it popped my ass with a cliffhanger, so I'm kind of, I'm in. Uh, but that is Boom Studios, Behold Behemoth, issue number two. Um, I don't think I had any option covers, and, then, and luckily this one was just in my box because on the shelf it was sold out. And I'm just happy to get what I got. It's still a dope cover though, but I'm not, no it's not black and white. I was about to say, I thought it was black and white, but there is some color down here. This was a big book on my list, but not so much for the read, uh, more for the artist. If you know me, my favorite artist, I try and pick up everything that she draws and drops. Um, but this is from Image Comics. This is Hexware, issue number one. And this is, of course, the Mirka and Dolfo cover. Um, I actually read the synopsis behind this book. And I'm not too excited about the read, but I'm going to try it anyways. But it, it, she just did the cover. It's not, it's, I think it's Tim Seeley. And I do like Tim Seeley, but it's, it's not Mirka. It's just her art. Now, a book that has been fantastic. And I was so happy to get these covers. Um, but this is Image Comics, Kaya, issue number three, and this is a Spawn variant. I was so happy that my LCS was able to order these and, and still had some available. Um, I was able to get that one and another big book, if you know me, since the beginning. But that is from Image Comics, Noctera, and this is the Val special, and I picked up the Spawn variant on this one. And I was excited about this one because they only got this one at my shop, and my, my shop owner stuck it in my box. I'm, I mean, the Noctera Val special, I mean, I think there was like 30 different covers I had options for. Even my, my guy ordered like crazy. Um, but I was just happy to get both of the Spawn covers. I'm not even currently reading Spawn, but I'm still a huge fan of him, his appearance, his lore, and then Todd McFarlane by himself. And the Todd Father is one of my bigger idols. Um, but, oh, and I got one last book. Uh, my my shop owner was actually, he some order, I think, I think when he did FOC, he ordered too much of this, so he was trying to give me this book. I actually looked at the synopsis on this book, and I was going to pass on it. Um, I didn't like the fact that he was trying to give it to me. He's given me a, quite a bit recently and been taking care of my box. Um, like this week, I'm, all I had to do was switch out variant covers. He had every single book that I wanted. My, the Mutiny Comics has gone above and beyond. It's by far the best comic shop I've been to in my whole life. Um, but this is the comic he was trying to give me. But this is from the Sumerian, the Firstborns, issue number one. Um, I'm not not really familiar with the the brand like the Sumerian. I think this will be the first one I've read from this company, but I told him I'd read it and give it a shot, and I did pay for it. I mean, it was only like three bucks. Um, but that that was everything that I got. I got some bags and boards. Uh, oh man, but that, but that is about it. I mean, it is a huge week. Um, I'm not gonna state any reviews right now just because I've got so many books next to me and I still have about eight from last week I need to tackle um, if you after watching this saw me show anything that you want me to read and review hit me up and I'll definitely do it besides that I'm a read and review as I'm reading them over the weekend and stuff um, so just be on the lookout for that it'll be totally random um, but that's the fun of it right um, but like I said, if there's definitely a book that I picked up and you want me to check it out, um, 
let me know especially I mean anything that, that I've ever shown feel free to reach out and I'll, I'll read and review anything I have or anything you want to send me I don't care I've done that too um, but that's everything I got I know it was a massive week a big video I will let y'all go please tell your friends about this guy over here you know I'm, 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 I'm. but hey uh, hopefully everybody made it out to the store you got everything you were looking for maybe some dope ass versions some ratios maybe just some gifts for Christmas that's right around the corner right um, but hey that's all I got for him uh, I got one last thing and I know this is going around but you need to hear it hey if you need somebody to talk to and I'm talking to you if you need somebody to talk to you reach out to this guy whether it's in my comments on IG you can find me on Facebook um, you reach out I might be busy but that doesn't mean I won't be too busy for you I will always make time for anybody in the community um, and I do quite often um, but if you ever need somebody to talk to to reach out to questions asked you know stuff like that uh, I'm not shy. I'm not afraid to talk. You hit me up. I'll be there for you. All right, guys. I love every single one of y'all. I will see y'all later. Bah!